Hey everyone, it's Tom from eReplacementParts.com and in this video, we're gonna help you understand generators so you can easily decide on the one that you need. A generator can be used to provide power during a blackout or to help power a grill at a tailgate party. Finding the generator that is best for you depends on a few things. Power output capabilities, fuel sources, and wattages required for the application. You may be wondering, what even is a generator? Generators turn mechanical energy into electrical energy. They provide electricity to devices and appliances when you're not connected to a power grid. They are a crucial safety device during hurricanes, snowstorms, and outages. Small generators can also be used for powering RVs, boats, and workshops without electrical wiring. To start, let's talk about inverter generators. Inverter generators are best used for camping, boating, and recreational activities as they're quiet, lightweight, and easy to transport. These generators provide power for a wide variety of devices, such as lights, heaters, fans, and many more. Inverter generators use an engine connected to an alternator to produce AC power and then convert it to DC power. Now let's talk about whole house generators. Whole house generators are designed to provide power to your entire home or specific circuits in the event you lose connection to the power grid. These generators provide automatic backup power within seconds of an outage and are permanently installed on your property. Whole house generators also operate using your home's existing fuel supply, usually natural gas or liquid propane. When purchasing a whole house generator, consider purchasing a model with features that reduce noise or allow the system to run self-diagnostic tests. Finally, we have portable generators. Portable generators are great for providing limited power to smaller short-term needs. These generators are typically used on job sites to power air compressors, nail guns, saws, etc. They can be loud, but there are quieter ones on the market as well. If you do purchase a portable generator for your home, you will want one with a 12 volt outlet to make it easier to charge smartphones and other devices. Before purchasing a generator, you will also need to consider the type of fuel the generator will need. Having access to the type of fuel you'll need and being able to store that fuel are things to consider. Make sure the source you choose is affordable for you and easily accessible. We're all familiar with gas. Gas is readily available and easy to purchase, making it a great choice for portable generators. Gas also has quite a long shelf life when stored correctly. Next, let's talk about diesel. Diesel provides the most energy per gallon of all fuel types. Diesel is reliable, readily available, and performs best when used for larger, longer jobs. This makes it a solid choice for whole house or commercial generators. Another available option is natural gas. Natural gas is very well priced and readily available, making it a great option for whole house generators. There's also no storage or refueling required, as this option is delivered through natural gas pipelines. However, with all that said, this fuel is less energy efficient, so take that into consideration before finalizing your purchase. Next, we have propane. Propane is available as a liquid or a vapor. Liquid propane does not deteriorate, so it can be stored long term. Propane is also clean burning and very commonly used in inverter generators for RVs, campers, and food trucks. Finally, certain generators can also be battery powered. Typically, these are battery powered inverter generators and they'll be often combined with solar generators. Unlike the rest of the fuel types listed, they're also safe for indoor use. With that said, Battery power generators can take a long time to charge and provide a lower output than other fuel types. Beyond the type of generator and the respective fuel, we have some considerations for you before you finalize your decision. Ensure that you have enough space to store both the generator and its fuel. Some generators like diesel fuel generators run loudly and can be disruptive. We suggest choosing quieter generators if you plan on being close by as it runs. Typically, the higher the power output, the more expensive a generator is. To save money in your purchase, find a generator that will supply just your basic necessities. Check how long the model will run on a full tank or full battery to determine its performance capabilities. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that this video helps you decide which generator is right for you. If you have any other questions about generators, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos.